Hi, my name is Steve Redpath of Trangiro Engineering Services Limited, a sitting guild and EAL approved electrotechnical training centre. In this video I will demonstrate how we uh, carry out a continuity test on a radial circuit, in this case for example a cooker circuit, and we will be using what is known as the R1 plus R2 method to measure continuity. Um, the system is already safely isolated and proven dead and therefore safe to work on to carry out this dead test. Uh, so to carry out this method of the R1-R2 uh, we need to link the line conductor of the circuit, uh, this conductor here for the cooker, to the CPC. Several ways of doing this, uh, we can put a piece of wire to link the earth bar to the R1 conductor uh, or we can simply take the conductors out and join them together in a terminal block. What I'm going to do is take the R1 conductor out of the breaker and connect this into the earth buzz bar up here, making our connection between R1 and R2. Uh, get the screwdriver in, like so. So we now have our link between R1 and R2 of the circuit that we're going to be testing. Um, and to measure this uh, R1, R2, we need to use our multifunction tester selected on continuity. Uh, the official name for this tester then is a low resistance ohm meter. Before we can use the meter, we make sure that it's uh, within calibration date. Uh, there's no signs of damage to the meter. Uh, and uh, it's all safe and ready to use. And then before taking the measurement to ensure we get an accurate reading we need to null the leads. So we turn the meter on and joining the two probes together like so we then run the test and null the leads. So now the reading we take between the two ends of the meter probes is purely the resistance of the cables that we're testing. So we go to the end of the circuit, in this case the cooker switch, uh, to obtain the highest reading. We clip onto the earth or CPC connection and then the other probe goes onto the R1 connection or the line conductor. So now we're ready to measure the continuity of R1 plus R2. So we hit the test button and that gives us a reading of approximately 1.2 ohms in this case um, and that's the value we will record on the schedule of test results uh, associated with the electrical installation certificate and that completes the continuity test. Once completed we remove the probes, uh, re remove the link, uh, reinstate the circuit and move on to the next test. Thank you.